The sum of the interior angles of any convex polygon is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. The n is the number of sides for the convex polygon. This is saying that when I add up the inside angles of any polygon that's convex, so you can't get out of it, I will get the number of sides minus 2 times 180 degrees. A theorem that's used throughout geometry class is that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. This formula proves that. If I have my sides, which is 3, in a triangle, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 1 times 180 is 180 degrees. When I get to the quadrilateral, the formula says I have 4 sides now, and 4 minus 2 is 2, and 2 times 180 degrees is 360 degrees. Where this comes from is that, oops, I'm back. If I have my quadrilateral and I split it into two triangles, remember a polygon can be partitioned into triangles, not overlapping means partition, and they are, they fit the, the polygon. Okay, so there's no excess to it and there's no shortness to it. So if I have two triangles here and this one adds up to 180 degrees and this one also adds up to 180 degrees, 180 and 180 make 360. So I just proved that this is correct. Okay, if I have a pentagon, we divided the pentagon into triangles to find the area of the pentagon. So if I divide this into triangles, I will have five triangles. Going along the same line that I did for the quadrilateral, if each one of these is 180 degrees, that's really 5 times 180 degrees because there's 5 triangles. 5 times 180 degrees is 900 degrees. 900 degrees, that doesn't match my 540 degrees. I'm not taking into account that I counted these angles in here. These angles in here would add up to a full circle, which is 360 degrees. So if I take 900 minus 360 degrees, I will have the sum of these angles in the interior of the pentagon. And 900 minus 360 actually does give me 540. So my formula works. My hexagon, my hexagon I can also divide into triangles and I will end up subtracting the 360. I want to do this one because it's not a regular hexagon. These opposite sides are much longer than these sides on the side of it. So it's not regular. Regular means all sides are congruent to each other. So if I do divide this up into the number, uh, the triangles, I don't have equal triangles, but every triangle, the sum of the interior angles, adds up to 180 degrees. So I have 
it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six triangles, the number of sides of the hexagon, six triangles, 180 degrees each, would be six times 100 is 600, and six times eight is 48, so that's 1,080 degrees. Now, again, I have to subtract a circle, a full circle, for that middle angles of the triangles, because that's not part of the interior angles of the polygon. So if I subtract 360 from this, I would get 720 degrees. 720 degrees is the same thing that I get when I use the formula. <coughs> Six sides minus two gives me four. Four times 180 is 720 degrees. Given a regular octagon, what is the measure of each interior angle? A regular octagon would have eight sides. An eight-sided, it also has eight angles. If the sum of the interior angles of a regular octagon is eight minus two times 180 degrees, so that's eight minus two is six, six times 180 is 1,080, then each interior angle of a regular octagon has to be 180 degrees divided by eight. Since all of the sides are equal to each other, all of the angles are equal to each other, and there are eight angles. And if I add up eight of the same thing, if I divide by eight, I get what each one is equal to. So each one of these angles is 135 degrees. The sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon is the formula n minus 2, n stands for the number of sides of the polygon, times 180 degrees. I forgot my degree symbol. Each of the interior angles of a regular polygon would be this formula, the number of sides minus 2 times 180 degrees, and then divide by that number of sides. And you will have what each one is in a regular polygon. It's got to be a regular polygon. 